it's really a pleasure for me to be here with you, uh, although I can't see many of you in the back because of the really bright lights, but I know there are people out there. Uh, this is a big week for the entire nation, and it's a week in which uh, probably more people than ever before will be thinking about space. It's an important week for all of us in the space business and a particularly important week for NASA. Um, again, before I get into, into formal remarks, I want to thank the staff and the board of the Space Foundation who've done a, so much over the years to raise awareness of space activities and the benefits of space. I'd also like to thank all of you who are here today for the professional contributions you make every day to the space industry. I'm honored to be here today representing the men and women of NASA. I want to say at the start that each and every one of us is absolutely committed to a vibrant future for this agency and to the future of human spaceflight. Thirteen of our colleagues are in orbit aboard the International Space Station right now, and two of them are, uh, I think they're out of the airlock by now. They just completed the third and final EVA on this flight uh, a couple hours ago. And I'm told that if you can manage to get up at 4.30 in the morning, uh, you'll be able to see their home in space fly overhead. And it is a spectacular sight if you've never taken the opportunity to, to just walk out and look at it. It's the brightest thing in the sky. And it's moving. And it moves pretty fast. At NASA, we're committed to this new era of space exploration, a 21st century space enterprise, because it's a tr transformative path that offers a real future for space exploration and development. I think all of us who love the space program, and especially those of us committed to it professionally, can agree that we need to start developing transformative technologies now if we are to plant human boots on Mars or even if we are to land robotic scouts on destinations where we've never been before. We're committed because sending human explorers into the solar system, not only in person but through the, our robotic precursors and our observatories, will blaze a trail for others who will one day live and work in space. This is a lofty goal, perhaps, but one that merits our total commitment. The benefits are numerous. It's an enterprise that can open new markets and create new high-tech jobs. It's an enterprise that will lead to extraordinary scientific discoveries. And it's an enterprise that advances the human condition by creating new capabilities that can solve problems here on Earth, even as it helps us all to open our imaginations to what's possible. It's not just our NASA team that's committed to this enterprise, either. President Barack Obama is strongly committed to our future in space. We are so committed that we made the hard choice to undertake a challenging new direction. We are so passionate about space that we made the hard choice to step back from our current program and find a more affordable and sustainable path forward. We had to look beyond the present to make hard choices about our future in space. We had to ask ourselves, what will the next generation need? How can we get to places we've only imagined? What funds will our future leaders be willing to allocate? What capabilities will these missions require, and how can we most effectively mature these capabilities? Because it's sometimes hard to be impartial when you're in the thick of something, we asked independent experts with impeccable reputations, Norman Augustine and his review of Human Space Flight Plans Committee, to help us examine our program. It was their finding that, and I quote, the current U.S. human spaceflight program appears to be on an unsustainable trajectory, unquote. We're 40 years beyond the first landing of humans on the moon, and yet we're still far from the capability to conduct long-duration missions outside of low Earth orbit, let alone to being able to consider sending humans to Mars. This is not only because we don't fully understand how humans can cope with the health risk of missions into deep space, but also because we don't completely know what hazards and resources we'll find at the various destinations. In response to the questions, what will it take to create a, the vibrant space exploration enterprise that we'd like to see unfold in the future? And how can we increase America's capabilities in space, open new markets, mature new capabilities, and once again, inspire the nation about space? The president, with my full agreement, did something very bold. He made a change, a big change. He made the change that we believe is needed to set NASA on a sustainable course into the solar system. The increased funding proposed in NASA's fiscal year 2011 budget will build a steady cadence of success, a crescendo that will leverage the multinational investment 
we and our partners have made in the International Space Station demonstrate vast new capabilities required for human exploration in the future and increase our knowledge of the solar system exponentially as we send numerous new probes to future human exploration targets. So at a time of extreme budget pressure, the President has chosen to invest in exploration of the space frontier, with NASA firmly at the helm. Although the President's plan involves a new philosophy and approach to human spaceflight, the fundamental goal has not changed, to boldly advance human presence beyond the cradle of Earth. We will be, as we have always been, mission-driven, developing the capabilities we need and overcoming obstacles with specific solutions, safely sending humans into deep space for years at a time, and exploring destinations across the solar system is not something to be done overnight or to be taken lightly. Yes, we do want to go back to the moon. We want to visit asteroids, too, the moons of Mars and Mars itself. Mars is an especially compelling target for future human exploration. It presents us with scientific mysteries to solve as few other destinations do. It challenges us to invent the most innovative capabilities for our journey. And it has long occupied our collective consciousness as a place that humans must one day explore. With that eventful, de eventual de destination in mind, we'll develop capabilities prior to that big leap that will bring us many new benefits. Among them, as I mentioned, the propulsion systems to get us there, and faster than we possibly could today. Habitats to live in deep space and other planetary surfaces, perhaps fuel depots in space, the capability to manufacture oxygen, water, and fuel from the resources at hand. These are some of the key technologies that we need Many of you in this room today have been talking with me or with NASA for years about how we could make these technologies a reality. It's time to take these ideas from concepts to flight. The President has given us the resources to achieve these goals. Our 21st century space enterprise will be enabled by the discoveries we make and the advanced technologies we create. In addition to full utilization of the International Space Station, we intend to adopt a phased approach to contract with industry to develop transportation to low Earth orbit as soon as possible. Our new strategy will enable human exploration across a wide range of destinations by developing the required technology advances up front, establishing clear performance and success criteria, and measuring progress along the way to ensure NASA is providing the best value to the nation. The thrust of this strategy is an ambitious, stepwise exploration approach that is sustainable, achievement-oriented, and globally inspiring. Building upon our technological advances, our human explorers will perform near-Earth missions and then explore deep space before eventually performing extensive surface exploration of the Moon and Mars. The new systems we develop will incorporate the first set of advanced capabilities proven over the next few years as part of our plan. As our technological capability increases, so will our reach into deep space. 